set up to make uh, editing videos as easy as possible. With just a few clicks, you can create a new video. First thing you need to do is select the video clips you'd like to edit into your footage, just by swiping. Second step is to pick a pre. Uh, we have these pre-designed uh, styles, so you can choose from the styles, and then each style has different moods or options, as well as different music associated with the style. And then you can create a, an intro card. And then an outro card if you want. And then hit preview. The render engine is built on the Windows 8 uh, Direct2D platform. So it'll render out all the video effects, titles. So this basically does it all for you. You just say what you want, what you want to import. That's right. Pick a style and just leave it. Take, and let it do the rest. Take all. Yeah, it makes it real simple. Now you also have the ability once it's once you've done that, you can go in then and customize it. You can go in and trim all the footage, set in and out points, and do all of that. Yeah. Uh, if you wanted to manipulate the footage, but uh, if you want to just quickly select some things and drop them in, that's all you have to do. And then there you have have a video. This is in the vintage style template. You can save it and share it across all the different social media sites or through email or any of the other yeah. normal ways. And then this is where if you want to customize it. For example, uh, if we decided we didn't want this clip in, we could go here and take it, just delete it. And if we wanted to change the in and out points of this clip, we just come here and set them. Uh, you can also set the volume if, the, if there's sound on the video clip and it's a little loud, you bring it down. If it's a little quiet, you can bring it up. You can add a caption to each clip as well. And a sub caption. And save that. So if you want to maybe trim this clip down, save that. Preview it again. And then it'll show you all the changes you just made as it renders out this clip. of low resolution for sharing, or yeah. you can have 720, 1080, any of the various, uh, from, all the way from you know low res all the way up to high res, full 1080 video. So there you see the changes. And if you decided that you didn't say like the vintage style, you can just change the style on the fly. Let's say you want to go with just a simple cut style, but you'd like to give it a, an antique feel. So you can do that, and then you preview that same video, and everything else remains the same, all your titles and settings, but yeah. then now rendered in that new style. So can you uh, directly up to upload to YouTube from within this app, or do you have to export first? And... Uh, I believe that's, that it's not on this uh, app as of yet, but it will be coming right. shortly, yes. I think right now... So there it is now in a different style with the antique feel. So when you go to save and share, the first thing you do is you select what resolution you want to do it. Give it a name. Now it's actually saving the file. The preview mode is just in the cache. Once you actually render it for final, it's creating a file on the device. So you have it in your operating system, you know, you can use it in the desktop or you can then directly share from the app. Or you could also use it in other things. Now that you've created a video, it'll show up in, say, Nikia Storyteller, for example. So you get one more chance to look at it here after it's been rendered. Or you can just jump right to sharing. And then right now we're only set up to share by email, but this is where you'll have your Facebook, YouTube, all of your icons will appear here. And you just choose. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic.